<sighs> Hi there, it's Timmy Joe. I'm doing a speed build. A speed build of a home theater PC, because why the hell not? This is going to be insane. Fractal Design Node 202 Xbox PS4 Killer Ryzen 1500 uh, GTX 1050. It's going to fit all nice in here with 8 gigs of RAM. Regular old uh, spinning hard drive. It's going to be lots of fun. Always wanted to do stuff like this. And I'm just, I'm pretty, I'm just, I'm psyched. So I'm going to hit the start button. And then it doesn't stop until this is hooked up to here with Windows being installed off this USB key. So cue the intro. And then we're going to get like right the hell into it. Ha ha. There's a fly in here. Hi, it's Timmy Joe. Let's just, um, it's a build off. Boom. Fractal. Uh, oh, look, stuff's falling out of it already. This is uh, basically like the size of a VCR. If you don't know what a VCR is, you're too damn young and I hate you. Um, but uh, it's like a DVD player. If you don't know what a DVD player is, I hate you. It's like a Blu-ray player. Yeah, I know. No one has any of those that are for the television. It's like a freaking PS4. There's the fly Xbox. And I tried to raid the fly down. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna need this. I don't think I already opened this up because I'm not stupid. I needed to know what I was getting into. But uh, here be the node. Everything you're gonna need. Let's just see, check this out. We got one of these things here. It's going to hold all of our screws. Uh, everything you're gonna need probably gonna be in here, right? We're gonna have, let's see here. Oh, a bag. Oh, we got some screws, wonderful. We've got a little riser there for uh, our graphics card. We've got a power supply. Ah, we don't need this box. Okay, and uh, let's see here. If we're jumping right into it, we should probably um, put that in like there, like probably. And then I think there's a cooler. Yes, feels like there's a cooler in here. Uh, it's still got its thermal paste. That's wonderful. Boom. Rising bastard, and uh, let me see here. We got thermal paste on it, like this. Why the heck not? Where's my screwdriver? Should I just use the drill to put this on? <laughs> oh man, I bet a lot of you just cringed. <laughs> Wonderful. Where's the pause? Where's the mouse? I don't have a mouse! 20 minutes! 20 minutes! In this case, caveats. I don't know how the hard drive mounts. I did not look this up prior. I don't have the manual for this case here. I assume it should take a three and a half inch hard drive. Uh, it fits underneath the, the, the graphics card. And, uh, I mean, it's working. That's, that's not 20 minutes. Uh, I would think it should have been less, but, um, 20 minutes. So I got a floating hard drive in here and I think I will give my, ouch, self the pass on that one. 
because um, number one, I uh, wasn't sure about the memory. Memory works, super cool. Number two, the uh, a cooler that comes with the 1500X, the Wraith Spire, does not fit in this case, uh, oddly enough. So guess what, Charlie? No, your name, Russell? You're getting a Wraith Spire cooler with your Ryzen system that I'm sending you in the mail instead of this dinky uh, stealth because the stealth is going to be required for this build. Now, um, I'd like to see how this thing actually plays games. So why don't we um, turn this off and jump to me playing a video game on it. <laughs> Okay, me, Mr. Gibby, we're playing Grand Theft Auto. Okay, Node 202 speed build, 20 minutes, world record speeds, nah, I cheated a little bit, I know, but uh, had I researched how hard drives work in this thing ahead of time, I'd have a little bit of better time, but uh, considering I thought on the fly pretty quickly, you could have technically took that, put it underneath your TV, it would have worked just fine, sort of, uh, actually ran all my benchmarks with this big hard drive underneath the graphics card and this in the proper little slot that you're supposed to put a two and a half inch drive. Uh, and uh, I didn't really see the, the problem with this, uh, this setup. Might have made the GPU a little bit hotter than it should have been. It was blocking some airflow on it, but it wasn't so bad. So you can fit uh, even maybe one of those more slimmer uh, hard drives in, in there would be no problem. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you might as well just get a laptop hard drive and fill up both slots. Uh, but this thing now has a 750 gig uh, drive in it for uh, sale at North Bay Computer Doctors. I wish I could hold on to this. this I've fallen in love with this thing. It's pretty cool. It's about the size of Xbox, maybe a little PS4. And, you know, but I would say it probably definitely plays games way better. Uh, and has access to you know all of Steam's library and stuff like that. I know, but uh, very very quick to access that stuff. Where I you know I, I'm not a console gamer. I don't know how it is these days, but in my experience, using an Xbox or PS4 is very convoluted. Where you get into Windows, you can open up a web page, go to YouTube, open up uh, you know VLC, watch a movie, open up Netflix in a web browser, make it happen really really quick. Where uh, you know an Xbox, you know you're, you're going through menus and th waiting for things to load. I think this is a much better alternative alternative to that with a lot less uh, you know things in your road to get to the content you want to enjoy and then to play video games on it man it was doing 60 frames a second and pretty much every game I threw at it at 1080p uh, Hellblade the new game uh, Senua Sacrifice uh, you know pretty realistic crazy brand new game brand new title uh, had to turn a few settings down to get uh, 60 FPS 1080p like down to just you know between medium and high but it wasn't so bad played GTA no problem like blew it out of the park played Doom uh, 70 FPS uh, with uh, Vulcan played Rise of the Tomb Raider every setting cranked 45 frames a second so maybe you could turn down like hair works and then it would be uh, perfect so all in all this thing is a powerhouse to put underneath your television if you're like a thumbstick kind of kind of player i am not i like mice i like keyboards i like big 4k monitors or high refresh rate monitors in my face so i can boom 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 but uh you know to have something like this if i didn't already have my home theater uh, pc situation already figured out I'll probably uh look into this because it's pretty good but you know it's definitely gonna be more expensive 
than uh, a PS4, Xbox One S or whatever, you know. So there is that to consider. But uh, I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I would say that this build in this little node case, although the speed build was kind of, uh, you know, a little bit of a cheating, uh, it's not too hard to build in. You get the right parts and, you know, Ryzen 5 1500X with the Wraith uh, Stealth Cooler. Never went above like 60 degrees uh, load in video games. There's a nice big vent above the the fan there you're not going to be overclocking it but i would say that's about the perfect cpu for it maybe a core i5 non-k with uh, the factory whatever personally i might put a noctua cooler on it one of those crazy uh you know sandwich you know down in there ones uh and overclock and if it was me and the 1080 or sorry 1050 ti strix from asus worked perfectly in it uh, it, it, you know what, if you set it up properly, you wouldn't even have the fans going very loud on it. Uh, as you can see here. Fan noise, barely even a problem. It was, uh, you know, all the settings cranked, graphics card overclocked. Uh, in Unigen Heaven, and uh, around 70 degree, uh, de degrees, it started to kick the fan up near 60, 70. Uh, and that was with this thing down where the airflow is limited underneath it. Uh, if you prop it up sideways, you'd never hear the fan in it. That's how good it works. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter, Node202. Super thumbs up. And uh, if you want to do a build in this thing for a home theater PC, I would definitely recommend it. And, and uh, speed builds, that's a funny thing. So. Uh, you know, let me know if you like that, and I'll talk to you guys in another video.